this morning on our Alpha Rex Ask the Expert program. Don Miller joins us. Don, of course, is the Director of Product Development with Alpha Rex, High Jest, Harv Extra, Alfalfas. And, Don, as we sit here now, the first part of March, we got snow that's four and five feet deep. We don't even know where our alpha stand, alfalfa stands are, let alone go out to check them. But when it does get to time, when we get into springtime, and we want to go out there and check our stands, what's the best way to do it? What are we looking for when that happens? Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. You know, with the winter we've had this year, uh, everybody's wondering what uh, what the alfalfa is doing underneath that snow. Uh, so I guess the first thing is to don't rush it this spring. You know, you need to, when you go out there this spring, we need to have three to four inches of growth before we can really tell if those plants are alive or how much damage there is. So uh, wait until you get a little bit of growth out there. And then uh, one of the indications that you do have some uh, winter injury or winter kill is it's slow to green up and an une- uneven growth out there. But uh, let's get a little bit of growth out there and see, uh, uh, look at the plants in. As we look at these stands, some of the stands that have been there for two or three years versus maybe some of the new seedings, direct seedings, things like that, should we be looking for the same things, or are there different things we should be looking at in those stands? Well, I think in the older stands, uh, they're a little bit more subject to uh, winter injury. Uh, You know, they get a little bit of disease in them, and you get a little more crown rot. So the thing you really need to do is go out there and dig up some plants and uh, look at those crowns and that root and dig up 20 or 30 plants in several locations in the field. And a, a good indication that you've got some winter kill is if that top two or three inches is soft to the touch or mushy or brown, uh, that's a good indication that you've got some winter kill. Now, be aware, maybe the, the lower taproot may be still firm and look okay, but if that top uh, two or three inches is damaged and soft and mushy, uh, you've probably got winter kill. Should we take leave it, take a first cutting, and then plow it under, or what do we do? Well, you have several options. Uh, uh, after you dig up those plants, uh, see how many are damaged and how much of that crown is actually damaged. Uh, sometimes you just have winter injury and maybe part of the crown is dead. And, and so you look and see if you have symmetrical uh, growth on all sides of the crown or if you just got growth on uh, a few buds coming up on one side. And get a sort of an indication of uh, how the plants are doing. And, and if you have uh, the majority of the crowns are, are damaged or 50% of the crown is uh uh, brown or discolored, uh, you may want to consider rotating out. But if that's uh, not the case and you want to try to uh, uh, salvage uh, a damaged field, uh, there's several options. Uh, you can come in there and plant a, a grass uh, interseeded into that alfalfa and thicken up the stand and, and get a little bit of forage for that one year. And uh, the important thing is, though, to, to get out of Don't drive all over that field either because it's going to be soft. You could do more damage than it's worth. You, know, you don't want to be sinking out there and damaging those crowns and you know wet soils. It's really easy to damage those crowns, and so we want to go out there and, and you know, walk around that field and just to get a survey of how things are going. Now, now if you do want to uh, replant, you know if you planted that field last fall and uh, then you look at it this spring and uh, it's damaged and you uh, you don't have to worry about autotoxicity within that first year of a planting, but. And an older stand, uh, three or four years old, and you've got damage out there, it's probably not the best thing to go out there and try to plant uh, interseed alfalfa back into that field to thicken it up because uh, the fear of autotoxicity is there. And, and uh, usually that uh, putting alfalfa seed into an old alfalfa field uh, doesn't pay. All right, thanks, Don. That's why he's the expert. Don Miller, lots of good tips getting out there and evaluating those alfalfa stands as soon as the snow goes away, whenever that might be. Don Miller. Product Development Director with Alpharex.